All right, what's up, everybody? It's the boy King, and now today we got some uh, Monster Hunter Wild Showcase. Uh, the Monster Hunter uh, live stream, whatever, was late, like I think about an hour ago. So I'm a little late. That's my bad. Let's get to the video. Let's go. Let's get right into it, man. I did already react to like the trailer, but this is like the entire thing. So we're just gonna check it out, and I'm gonna get it up for you guys. And then I got uh, more videos coming later today. So. Hey Hello everyone, I'm Ryozo Tsuchimoto, oh, what's up, Brew? The producer of Monster Hunter Wild. In today's Monster Hunter Wild Showcase, I'll share the latest news with you all. Okay. Without further ado, please enjoy this new okay. trailer. Okay, I actually reacted to the trailer already uh, on my channel. It's actually up before this. So you've already seen this trailer, so I'm not going to give you guys like a fake reaction or anything like that, you know. Oh, is this it? Yeah, I've already seen this, Welcome, yeah. Travelers. I present you Azus, the Everforged. They're starting without us. Just look at that firebrand go. Like I said before, I already watched it. I did say that, like, you know, the game does look good. I will admit that. It, it looks good. But like I've already known that though, especially from like the previous like um trailers and stuff like that. I've already I've already known that, so Yeah, hey, hey, this boss fight, this boss, listen, I'm, real quick, this boss fight looks weird, like, I mean, in a good way, though, like, I don't want to say, like, it looks ugly, I mean, no, nah, it is ugly, it's ugly, it's ugly, it's ugly, it's ugly, I admit that, it is ugly, it is, yeah. Hey, man, hey, that's some strength right there, if you gotta do that, that's some strength, man. That is some strength right there, bro. We beckon the fire spring with our own hands. Yeah, I've already seen this, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That was actually that was hard. I like that. Yes, you, you said light the thing up. Yes, you did. I couldn't believe he said that. You said light it up. But they keep saying it's not supposed to happen, bro. Didn't y'all like attack the thing or no? Ooh, he's on fire up in here, but it's burning. All right, he's on. Yeah, that was a trailer right there. So, like I said, I've already uh, reacted to it. It's on the channel already, man. Make sure you guys go check that out. All right, what else they got? Because I think this thing is like 10 minutes long. So, let, let's see what they got. The trailer you just saw shows the expedition team arriving in a new locale known as the Oil Well Basin. It's a region where oil wells and, on occasion, raging fires burn. The brute wyvern Rumpopolo can be found in areas of deep oil silt. And monsters such as the red hot fanged beast Ajarakon are highly active during the fire spring. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, that was the guy that was releasing all the fire. Creatures that have adapted to this harsh environment. The village of Azuz formed around its large forge. And its people live as skilled craftsmen. Okay, wait, I got a question. For all the uh, Monster Hunter, like, you know, connoisseurs and fans out there, general question. I don't know if this uh, Monster Hunter is, like, um, like connected to, like, the rest of the Monster, uh, Monster Hunter games. Um, because I've seen, like, a lot of, like, Twitch streamers just, like, play Monster Hunter. And it's basically, like, them and, like, other Twitch streamers going up against some monsters. Like, I've never really sat there and, like, you know, like, you know, um really dove into like the monster hunter lore so if you're like a monster hunter fan comment down below is this like a connected series or are they all just like separate just games or whatever that's that's that's, that's my question real quick because i don't know seriously i don't know Black 
Deep beneath the basin lives a mysterious monster known to the people of Azuz as the Black Flame. Okay, that thing looks a little comp. I can't lie to you. Team find in this region? Hey, who's the girl in the blonde hair? What's New her name? Reveal deeper mysteries. We hope you look forward to the expanding story. Since the game's announcement last year, we've seen a huge response, for which we are sincerely surprised and grateful. Oh, that's nice. Shout out to him, man. Thank you very much. We have a special announcement for all you hunters out there who are eager to play. Monster Hunter Wilds will have an open beta test. Oh, snap. For, for the freebie? For the free 99? It will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and Steam. Wait, when though? It will support crossplay across all these platforms. Wait, because I actually might check. I might, I might, I might play this. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh wait, Thursday. Wait, so that's next Thursday. Oh snap, that's like that, that's right around the corner. Oh, I can definitely try this out. So are these like okay? So I got a question though. So it says October. So that's next Thursday. That's next Friday. Next Sunday. Next Monday. Are these all for? Are like are, are the like? Are these like all for PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam all together, or is this one for PlayStation, this one's for Xbox? Because usually a lot of well, um, what a lot of games will do, especially like Call of Duty, what they would do is um, they'll have like a PC beta test, and then they'll have like an Xbox beta, then they'll have like a PlayStation beta, whatever. Or sometimes they would have them all at the same time. So is this just like all at the same time with just four different like beta uh, periods and stuff like that? If that is, that's actually pretty cool. The open. I, I dig that. We'll start during these dates, so please hang on just a little longer. Yeah, it's just next week. That's next week. There's more. Oh, okay. Well, they separate them. PlayStation Plus subscribers on PlayStation Five will get early access, allowing them to play even sooner. Oh snap! Okay, so please visit the official website. For so if more you got details. PS Plus, you can actually play it like a day early or like now, three days let's early. Let's take a look at the content okay. of the open beta test. Okay, what's an the open beta, beta okay. test includes three parts character creation a story trial and the doshagama hunt what's a doshagama hunt what is that i know character, character creation. creation you'll have full access to the same functions as the final product okay I, okay so it features can we make a brother or not or not can i like can i make a black dude your physique Man, she got abs of steel. You'll okay. be able to carry over your character creation data from the open beta test into the full game. Hey, can we make a brother? You can also remake your character as much as you like during the open beta test. Dang, period. I see a black dude yet. Yeah, like, use this. Oh, oh, there he is. There's a brother. Hunter and okay, Paolo. I saw him for like two seconds. I, don't worry, I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. I'm about to say, Thank man. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, dang. He, oh, he black, black. Hey. In the story trial, <laughs> you can experience the opening cutscene and play through the hey. Oh, man, keep your tongue. Basic. Man, keep your tongue in your mouth. Man, bro, have some manners, bro. Keep your tongue in your mouth. Man, he, yeah, that. Like, bro, that's a bro. Right, bro, keep your tongue in your mouth. Tutorial. Is he okay? Man, keep your tongue in your mouth. Please enjoy the seamless transition. I know he nasty. Keep the tongue in the mouth. That's a far jump. Okay. In the Doshagama hunt, the goal is to defeat the alpha of the Doshagama pack. You can use an SOS flare during either quest to connect and play with others online man bro his, bro his tongue is still out bro keep your if tongue in your mouth players who can join up to three npc support hunters will join you instead oh that's fire i like that i like that okay okay bro he's still looking up nah he's a freakazoid that man Talk is a freakazoid and use the quest counter to change the number of multiplayer participants and other settings even when with other hunters, your palico will join in and support you and other support hunters on quests. Ooh. In the open beta test, you can register friends across platforms. 
But please note that this registration will not transfer to the full version. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Although the scope that, but that's limited, usual though, obviously we that. Hope you enjoy the ecological expanse of the Windward Plains. Those who participate in the open beta test will receive a special bonus pendant, which will be available to download within the full version of the game. Dang, we can't get like an extra sword or something? Listen, all right, all right. Maybe I should be more grateful. Dang, we can't get like an extra, like, you know, like an extra, like, like, uh, like energy potions or something. Like they gave us a teddy bear. I mean, you know, and you know what? I'm grateful. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. But they couldn't give us like, bro. I would love to take like a like an extra like boss fight or something, or like an extra like DLC code or something. That would be pretty cool. But it is what it is. It is what it is. You can use it to decorate your weapon or sacred. Now let's go over the product information. Monster Hunter Wilds will be available from Friday, February 28th, 2025 for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and Steam. Along with the standard edition of Monster Hunter Wilds, the deluxe edition packed with downloadable content will be available the same day. Okay, I like this. I like this. You know why I like this? Because guess what? Some games like the finesse. See some games. Let me see, let me let me put you guys on game real quick, just in case you guys don't know. See, obviously with the standard edition, you just you just buying the game. The deluxe edition, you got a little uh, expansion pack, a little deluxe pack, you get a little some extra. It, it, you know, that's like that's like your mom. That's like your mom fixes you a plate of like you know chicken and chicken and rice, and she throws in like a little extra piece of chicken. You know, uh, with the premium deluxe. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh boy. Man, that's like buying a 20-piece combo, a 20-piece chicken bucket from KFC with, with mashed potatoes, and then they throw in like an extra drink, and then they throw in like a little, like a chocolate uh, cake dessert or something like that. that that's what that's like. That, that's the premium thing. Man, some games are, bro, they, they're finessers, bro. See, some games, what they all like to do is, bro, what some games will do with the, with the standard addiction, they'll give you, they'll give you the game. With the deluxe edition, man, they'll give you the game with like a sticker, and then with the premium deluxe edition, they'll give you uh the game with like a with, with an expansion pack. See, they're finessers. They're finessers. I like how Monster Hunter they're like, yo, you know, you're getting something if you upgrade to these uh like uh, uh additions, you know, like if you get the deluxe, you get the game with like an expansion with the like with a, with a with an extra like you know pack to it. You get the premium, man. You getting everything. I like that, cause some some franchises are finessers, bro. Man, bro, you get listen. You get the uh, the premium uh, premium edition uh, for like a hundred dollars, bro. They'll give you the game with like three stickers. It's GG's. Furthermore, the premium deluxe edition, which includes the main game and three DLCs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They packed that up. I like that. I like that. Will also be available digitally. Yeah, I like that. Finally, all editions have a pre-order bonus, which contains the Hunter Layered Armor Guild Knight set and the Talisman Hope Charm. This offer is time limited, so be sure to pre-order to receive this special bonus. Those who pre-order from the PlayStation Store will receive the Monster Hunter Wilds digital mini art book as an exclusive bonus. Don't miss out. Details regarding each Monster Hunter Wilds product can be found on the official website. So please visit it for more information. That's all the news we have for you today. That's all we got. Monster Hunter Wilds. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man, by uh, you know, by watching and subscribing to the channel, like the video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. But now uh, listen, before we get to that, no I'm serious, just, man. I do like how they're doing this, bro. And they're actually feeding their fans, you know, because um, like I said before, and I won't name any names, you know, because I don't, I don't like drama or nothing like that, man. But uh, I, I s some franchises, bro, they're finessers. Uh, they like to capitalize off of your nostalgia and stuff like that. Uh, they like to, you know, uh, BS their way around, you know, uh, you know, add a new content, you know, to the game and stuff like that. So, to have, you know, for Monster Hunter and you know, and other franchises, and, and you know, some franchises, franchises at the top of your head, you know, who actually provide. 
um, you know, the type of content that you want, and then they give you extra. Those are the people, you know, like those are the franchises, you know, who really deserve it because uh, they're die hard, bro. Like, so games like Final Fantasy, games like, bro, Monster Hunter, games like, who else has a die hard fan base? Uh, Rockstar, I, but Rockstar is like, they're like, bro, they're the best of the best. They're the greatest of all time. I don't care what you say. Um, what else, bro? And there's so many, there's so many franchises out there, bro. Bro, oh my, uh, uh, um, um, uh, 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 God of War, bro, God of War, like, it, it's just absolutely amazing how, and, and, and bro, it shows, though, it really shows how, it, it shows how much the actual, like, studio and, like, like, how much the studio cares, you know, because at the end of the day, bro, yes, it's up to them to add whatever they want to the game, uh, you know, for them to, you know, add in, like, a little DLC or whatever, because again, like I said before, bro, some friend, bro, some studios, bro, they are finessers. They will do, they'll do anything they can. They'll drop a game, and then they'll be like, "Oh my God, deluxe!" And then premium, and then as soon as you get the premium, premium edition, whatever, they'll be like, "Oh well, you know, you'll get the game with the box, with the action figure, and all this, right? You think it's all sweet, man, man, bro, man. You get the box in the mail, you open the thing, bro. You open the mail, bro. You see the game. The game is like, oh, okay, cool. I got the game, bro." I promise you, bro, that thing is filled up with straight air, bro. Like, they don't give you nothing else. They finesse you. They'll be like, oh, thank you for buying the game and, like, a little automated little thing. And then they give you, like, a sticker, bro. It, it, it's finesse worthy. Um, so I'm actually so glad that a lot of games, um, you know, who do have deluxe editions and premium and stuff like that, they actually, like, you know, fill it up, you know, because that's the whole point. You know, if you have a premium edi premium edition, uh, you know, of something or, or you know, of, or of, like, a game or something like that, you know, fill it up, bro. Like, fill it up with, like, DLCs and, you know, cool. If you want to put in stickers and DLCs and um, extra character skins and stuff like that, bro. Like, this is the premium of the premium, bro. Like, you know, make them get their money's worth, you know. Uh, some franchises are just, um, not even franchises. Some studios are just finessers. Um, and you're the reason why, you know, their um, franchise is dying. So, other than that, man, I'll see you guys. I'll them out. And